our thermometer, we peaked at 193.89 degrees Fahrenheit, so almost 194 degrees Fahrenheit. Hey everyone, Digital David here. Today in this video, we're gonna be looking at the iCoper 1500 watt ceramic space heater. I did purchase this product on my own and any opinion expressed in this video is strictly my own. That being said, if interested in this product, you wanna find out more about it, the link to it will be in the video description. You can see the retail box and packaging right here walking us through some of the key features of this particular unit. Adjustable thermostat, power indicator light, we have a cool touch exterior, three heat plus one fan settings, tip over and overheat protection and has a nice portable design. Now let's go ahead, let's open it up and look at the contents. Here are all the contents. First up you can see we have a customer service and contact card if you ever have any issues. Next you can see we have our user guide in manual walking us through everything we need to know about this product and the different modes and settings. So we have 700 watt, 900 watt and 1500 watts. And you can see the unit itself right here. Let's go ahead, let's look at that in more detail. So from the top, what do we have? You can see we have our two control dials right here, min and max, and then we have our three heat settings. Again, 700, 900, 1500. And we also have a fan setting if we don't want any heat and off. You can see our power indicator right there. Here it is from the front side. You can see our nice grill and the heater inside. We can look at it from both sides right there. You can see from the back side, built-in handle, air intake, integrated power cord down below. You can see the four feet we have, and we have our safety switch right there in the event that this unit tips over. Now let's go ahead, let's try it out. So we have everything plugged in, powered on, everything's working great. So again, we have our three different heat settings and our fan setting, and then we have our thermostat controls right here if we wanna turn it down some. But this won't adjust fan speeds. Doesn't matter which setting you're in, the fan's gonna spin at the same speed. This just controls temperature, and then you can see we can turn it to a certain point, and then it shuts the unit down right there, or we could go to max. Now let's go ahead, let's see how loud it gets. So you can see with our decibel meter right here, we peaked at 75.5 decibel. So that's gonna be a little bit on the louder side. I can tell that fan is really moving in there. So just keep that in mind. It's probably gonna be around 60, close to 70 decibels consistently and you'll peak and max around 75 decibels. So we've had the unit running on three, which is the 1500 watt setting with our max thermostat setting. So this will give us the hottest heat possible. And with our thermometer, we peaked at 193.89 degrees Fahrenheit. So almost 194 degrees Fahrenheit was the max readout that we got from the air coming out of this space heater. So overall, let me share through my final thoughts after using this space heater. First up, why would you buy this particular space heater? Well, the first reason is price. Second reason is the features that you get. So maybe you want some of these dials and the controls that we have here, the three different heat settings, really nice to have some extra customization. A lot of times some of the heaters just come with like a one and a two. So it's great that we have three and we have our fan option as well. Maybe you want the thermostat controls. I never find myself using the thermostat, but that's up to you. Maybe you love to have that feature. And lastly, some of the safety features. So maybe you're buying this particular heater because you're happy with that tip over switch because they do call them accidents for a reason. So whatever space heater you get, I highly recommend you get one that has that tip over switch built in, especially, especially, especially if you have kids or pets around the house or office for that reason. Now, with that being said, why aren't you buying this space heater? Well, one could be the price, depending on the time. Maybe it's more expensive than some other brands on the market. Two, maybe you want to have a heater that's a little bit more portable. This is small and compact, so it's easy to carry around, but there are a couple of other space heaters on the market today that would have a dedicated handle up top. And if you're somebody taking this daily to work in the wintertime or your office or whatever, you might appreciate having a more solid grip handle even though they do have that handle on the back and it's a really small and compact unit. Well, that concludes our video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget the product link will be in our video description below. Please go ahead, check it out and do your shopping from there. Any purchase made through that link helps support our channel at no additional cost to you. So we're really grateful and thankful for all of your support. While you're at it, can you go ahead and hit that like button for us? and subscribe to our channel. We have new content coming out daily and we don't want you to miss anything. Please go ahead and give us a follow online and make it a clean sweep. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Twitch, 
TikTok, Discord. You can message us on WeChat. Check out our website and join our free newsletter. Thank you guys so much for being here. Don't forget new content daily, and we can't wait to see you in our next video.